In this video, we will show you how you can use Keithley's Kickstart Instrument Control software to create fast pulses and fast pulse sweeps for the new Keithley 2601B Pulse Pulsar Source Measure Unit and quickly analyze your results. With Kickstart in the Fast Pulsar mode, we can easily just select the defaults to output 10 amp, 10 microsecond pulses that can be applied to a device such as a laser diode and measure the resulting voltage on the device. Once the test is completed, you will not see the resultant pulse until we make a few changes to the chart. Make sure that graph source on the x-axis is set for time, then you can go ahead and hit the auto scale icon so that the pulse is displayed. In the upper right hand corner of the graph, we can select the voltage to display the measured voltage. Kickstart also gives you the ability to display cursors just like on an oscilloscope so you can quickly analyze the current pulse and voltage measurement. This is a great way to allow you to see the 10 microsecond pulse shape if you don't happen to have an oscilloscope handy. Note that the voltage and current is also displayed at the cursor locations. Kickstart also enables you to display statistical information about the pulse within the cursor area. Let's return to the settings tab and change the pulse function to a current pulse sweep and also use the linear sweep type. We'll set the starting current to 1 amp, the stop current to 10 amps, and the number of pulses to 20. We're also going to change the measurement position to be at the top of the pulse and change the measurement delay so we can make the measurement towards the end of the pulse. Now we can run the test and see the results on our scope. In the table view, we can see the digitized current and voltage with the time if you want to inspect the values. We can best see the results by going to the graph tab and analyze the results. What you may see immediately is the current and voltage plotted versus time if both the current and voltage are selected. To plot the IV curve, we need to change the x-axis source from time to SMU1 current. Then we can hit the auto scale icon to display the IV plot. But what if we wanted to plot the pulses that are digitized? That's easy. Let's go back to the settings tab and change the measurement position to complete pulse. Then let's run the test. The output current pulses are captured on the scope. When you look at the data in the graph tab, it doesn't quite look like what is on the scope. No worries. We need to set the x-axis source back to time. Auto scale the plot. In the upper right hand corner, select the current from SMU1 and unselect the voltage from SMU1. The plot begins to show the pulsed current sweep. It now looks more like what we measured on the scope. Now we can start to zoom in on a particular pulse by using the graph zoom tool. The tool gives you the ability to zoom in as much as you choose. And if you want, you can also add the voltage measurement during that pulse output so you can compare current and voltage. Using Kickstart Zoom Tool, statistical information, and all the other graphical interface power at your fingertips, you'll be able to gain a lot of insight about your particular application. To learn more how the new 2601B Pulse Pulsar Source Measure Unit can help you with your application's test to achieve high fidelity 10 amp, 10 microsecond pulses, visit tech.com slash SMU. And to learn more how Kickstart software can help you be more productive with the 2601B Pulse, visit tech.com slash Keithley dash Kickstart, where you can also download a free trial version.